Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the 62nd episode of The Wood Review Show. First of all, I'd like to apologise for not uploading the last couple of episodes of The Wood Review Show in these weekly timeframes and all that. i just been really busy with stuff, and literally, I do apologise. Today, guys, I've got some new stories and all that written on my pad and all that, which I'm excited for. We've got some big reveals this week and all that. So, guys, let's get on with this, shall we? By the way, guys, I've got a huge announcement, and this is something that people might like or might hate. Now, for the last couple of months, I haven't been doing this show properly, and many people were saying to me, are you enjoying the show? My question is, yes, I'm loving them. And these, you know, films and gaming news stories will work properly, including the TV stuff. So, guys, this announcement will be basically this. Starting from this week onwards, I'm going to be recording the review shows on a Friday. And will be uploaded to upload first. And then on Saturday, it will be uploaded to YouTube next. So literally, upload first, YouTube second. And basically, if you guys are on YouTube that you want to follow me on Xbox Live, it is at Wood Reviews. You know, the whole social media description in the, will be in the description below. I'll see at the end of the video as well. But if you guys want to know that, that's there. Also, if you guys are on Xbox and you guys want to follow me or subscribe to me on YouTube, it is at Wood Reviews. Is all the whole shebang again as well. So that's my announcement. I am now changing it from, from a Saturday to a Friday now. So the first news story today, guys. I am excited for this. Batman Return to Arkham Collection is finally back after it been delayed in July because there was some massive technical hiccups and all that. It's finally got a release date and I'm going to kill myself for this. It's the same day as Battlefield 1, 21st of October. However... They basically showed off a trailer as well, which they showed off the comparisons from the PS3 to the PS4 port. And, oh my god, it looks so cool. Now, if you guys don't know what the Arkham Collection is, it's, basic, it's basically um, Arkham Asylum and Arkham City with all its DLC. No Arkham Origins, which is kind of surprising because, you know, that's in the Arkham series and all that, which I'm kind of surprised. However... The pricing is going to be about 30, 40, maybe the 50 quid around that price range and all that. However, that is it for what we've got at the moment. More news stories on Batman Return to Arkham Collection as we speak. So the next news story day, guys, I'm going for a film called James Bond. Because we have some news stories that Daniel Craig, who said he doesn't want to do any more James Bond films, has changed his mind and basically said he wants to do two more films. And he basically... He got paid $150 million for it. Or pounds, whatever it is, honestly. And I was going to say something that if I was an actor and I say, they say to me, come back on to James, James Bond, I'll give you $150 million for it. I will be sold on it and I would have done it, honestly. Which is kind of surprising because I haven't seen Skyfall or Spectre. I've seen Casino Royale and I, I have seen um, Quantum of Solace. Decent films, don't mind watching them, but Skyfall... People really enjoy, and Spectre, I need to see. However, they say they're trying to bring out these two films back to back. Will it work? We don't know. That's all we got at the moment for James Bond. More news stories on it as we speak. The next news story day, guys, and this is going to be a big one because it is from Apple and all that. Basically, they have announced the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus, which is basically their newest phone. And they do this at least every single year and all that. And do I care about these phones? Yes and no. If I've got a new phone like the SC, which is recording right now on time lapses, which is quite nice. I don't need a new phone, honestly. I've got that phone. I can do the things I need on it. But if people who hasn't got a new phone yet, then literally... That's a good way to actually get a new phone, honestly. Um, what's new with this, you know, that we haven't seen before is the headphone jack. Because usually headphone jacks comes with these little wires. You know, these little leads that connects to your phone or anything like that. They scrapped that now. They scrapped it with wireless, which is kind of surprising and I don't like that. Because, you know, I like listening to music on a jack and I can just go and literally don't have to worry about it. Instead of like these wireless things, this is my thing. If it's this is my only concern, and this is the thing I want to say. If you know, you know, you're walking and you put those things on and you're listening to it and you stop, you're thinking to yourself, wait, did I put them away or did I not? 
That's the problem with them. But people might like them, people might not, people might not like them. And it is water resistant, which is quite nice. However, the spec details is kind of confusing, so I'm not going to mention all of that. If you guys want to see that, go to the Apple website or on YouTube to find out some details and all that. The date for both these phones is coming out next week, September 16th, which is kind of quite early for a um, like an iPhone thing, unless they do this every single year, they announce it and then it comes out next week. But that's all we got for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. Any more news stories on the thing as we speak. So the final news story today, guys, and this is quite a big one for Sony and all that, because they have announced the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 4 Pro. Now, basically, I have a PlayStation 4. Love it to bits. I have some good games on there, good titles and all that, but that since they've announced these, they look so cool. They look more thinner and more badass than anything else. Even that, con that you know, controller with the light-up LED in the front, that's tempting me because that you can buy that separately, which is awesome. However, they showed up some more things. Spec stuff I'm not going to go into. If you guys want to look at that, look on the PlayStation 4 website and all that for more details on that. But... I do have to say, the PS4 Pro, I want to talk about it, it looks more gorgeous than anything else with some of the graphics and all that. Like, I want to say, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare looks fantastic, and um, Mass Effect Andromeda. Now, I haven't played too much of Mass Effect, and I really should get into him. I played Mass Effect 1, and it looks pretty good, I like it. But Andromeda looks pretty cool. However, the pricing I can believe forgotten about, and the dates are coming out sometime between September and November, which is very nice. So that is it for the PlayStation 4 stuff. I'm sorry if you guys are thinking, oh, what happened to the PlayStation 4 stuff? Do you have any more of it? I do apologize. But that's all I've got at the moment. More news stories on the PlayStation 4 and play, uh, PlayStation 4 Slim, sorry, and the PlayStation 4 Pro as we speak because I've got more to do. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. All of my social media links are below. Any comments, any feedbacks, you guys know what to do. Thank you so much for watching this guys and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Slay peeps. Bye bye.